Good morning, my beautiful collective. I hope you have a wonderful day. What's up, my beautiful collective? You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ring a ling a ling. Oh, collective. I have to say, as I was lighting my incense to start, you know what song? I just started singing. Ooh, baby, baby. And that's all I can remember of that song. Ooh, baby, baby. So, that song's going to resonate for somebody, because I honestly don't remember what the fucking hell the song is. Mm. Active, you're singing that to somebody. Someone's wanting to sing that to you. They're like, ooh, baby, baby. Okay, normally, normally Jackie's looking at me. Now she got to ask to me. Jackie, what are you doing? Princess. Hey, Jackie. Hey, Jax. She just ignoring the fuck out of me. She's like, kiss my ass. Maybe that's what you're going to be telling somebody, right? Maybe someone's going to be singing at your door. Oh, baby. You're just going to be like, what the fuck? <laughs> if you're with somebody, maybe you just turn around and put your ass to them. Like, get the fuck away from me. Get the fuck away from me. They trying to make up? What is that? Break up to make up? Uh-oh. I ain't even going there, okay, y'all? I ain't even going there. Y'all caught that? If you caught it and get it, you never know who's watching your videos, y'all. You know, that's the thing about the anonymity. When you pick up on energy sometimes, you have no idea who the hell could be watching your shit. Okay? Who watching your shit? We got the Five of Wands here, Nine of Swords in reverse, and the Hanged Man. And you know what I just say? You never know who's watching your shit. There's like, well, I guess there's kind of a person there, but not really. That's a statue. Look at these cards. There's the five of wands. There's no one present here. So that's like someone's inner conflict, right? That's the inner conflict. Because there ain't no one here. You know, so some of y'all may be thinking there's something going on and there ain't nothing there, right? Nine of swords in reverse. You see that? Coming out of that, that, yeah, a lot of this is, it, it's not what you think. It's not what you think, kind of smoke and mirrors type energy, right? Let your guard down, sweetie. Let your guard down, dude. And the hangman, you see the, looks like an owl. Is that an owl or just a bird? Cause no. Kitty says he don't give a fuck. No. That's like a statue down there. Now y'all Kitty's being all fucking vocal. Is he stuck in the bathroom again? Y'all, he goes in the bathroom and lays in the bathroom sink. He's got his own bathroom down here, okay? So apparently he's got something to say. He just don't want to come out. The owl, the wisdom. But notice on the beak, that little beacon of light. The hangman here. But you see, that's like a statue. <clears throat> so what's going on here? Seven of Swords in the upright at the bottom. With the Five of Swords. It's like there's people on these cards, but I'm not really seeing the, the people. Here's the Five of Swords, but that's like spiritual. For a lot of you, Seven of Swords here, Five of Swords, the Nine of Swords. Can y'all see them cards good enough? I don't know, these kind of have a shine to them. This is the Heathen Stargazer deck. There is so much go... Oh, it's spirit. Nine of coins. Uh, that reminds me of a peacock, but I don't think peacocks can really fly. Look at that beautiful nine of coins energy, right? 
But notice that beautiful white bird behind. Which I don't think peacocks can fly fly. But you see, it's kind of got the tail feathers of like a peacock. But like a white peacock. Have you ever seen those? Pictures of those, which are absolutely fucking beautiful. But like spirit. Spirit. Some of them. Notice them amulets around. Kind of look like stones. Your crystals, right? What do you use? Your amulets. This is so much spirit. This is spirit. Spirit saying. Inner peace. No more conflict. Gaining the enlightenment, right? The five of swords here. But there's only one sword that's in that person's hand, right? The other four swords are on the ground. There's no conflict anymore. There's no confusion, right? You're trusting your gut. You're trusting your intuition. And notice that moon in front of that mountain in the background, right? As you traverse, as you traverse to the peak, to your heights, to where you need to go, that uphill climb, you see that? Trusting your gut and intuition on that. The moon is never going to be in front of a fucking mountain. So now, you know... Take the wisdom that you know, that one sword that's in your hand, king and queen of swords energy, right? Move forward in your truth, trusting your gut, trusting your intuition. Seven of swords here. Not so much deception as just tra as you traverse, right? Where things can be dark or seem dark. There's always light on the journey. There's always going to be that light. You're going to get the guidance. Notice the Aurora Borealis up there. Right? Trusting your gut, your guidance, your intuition. Being guided by the stars. Uh, Lotus on the Hangman card, right? That's like the galaxies down there. Trusting. Trusting. I'm thinking star seed, and that's not a, that's not part of my vocabulary, guys and gals, but that could mean something for somebody. Trusting. Trusting. You are protected. You're always protected. God protects me and God fights my battles. No weapon formed in spirit or physical against me shall prosper. I'm highly favored and protected from all evil. As is my beautiful fucking collected. We are all protected from evil. God will always work on our behalf or whatever deity you wish to worship, right? But when you open the door and let the devil in and you start interacting with the devil, well, there you go. You opened up that line of communication. Because at some point in time, Jesus tried to say, stop it, what the fuck you doing? You playing with the devil. You playing with the devil. You playing with the devil. You willingly open up that line of communication with the devil, and there you go. God can't protect you on that, now can he? And it'd be like your mom and dad, and they said, well, you know, I don't care what the hell happened. You didn't have to go along with what they told you to do, right? If your friends jumped off the cliff, would you? If your friends jumped off the bridge, would you? My good, what the fuck is up with Kitty? Hey, Kitty, 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 Kitty. I swear to God, y'all, he fits perfectly in that fucking bathroom sink. This is trusting your guidance and your wisdom. With the seven of coins. So we have seven of swords and the nine of swords. We have the seven of coins and the nine of coins. So 97 could definitely mean something. 79 could mean something. What does that go to? 16? Nine plus seven is 16. So... Uh, which goes to seven. So triple sevens. Trusting. Trusting. The money tree. Luck, abundance, beauty. Calling it in. But it's all about your protection. Trusting. Notice the little points of light on the both of them cards. <laughs> 
a lot of you, the endings are coming near in order to traverse to bigger, better things, right? You learned the lessons. Now you got to trust what the hell you know, right? You you go to school, you, you learn, you get your degree in the field of study that you want to study, and then bam, there you go, right? It's like a doctor. They go to school and learn the books parts of things, right? And then eventually they're going to have to go out and go to work. You know, they might have studied what it's like to cut a person open. Now they got the scalpel in their fucking hand, okay? Every surgeon has their first fucking uh, surgery, right? Everybody has the first thing that they do after they've spent all this time and energy studying, 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 studying. Okay, you've studied it. You theoretically know how to do it. Now it's time you fucking do it. Okay? It's like you've studied all you need to study. You know all you need to know. There's no opposition. There's like no opposition here. This is like you're getting that free path. Because a lot of you are getting ready to traverse that fucking mountain. You go climb Mount he Everest, right? I was going to say Everest. What the fuck? You're going to climb Mount Everest. I can almost see it. That dream I'm dreaming. But out inside my head. You'll never make it, right? The journey as you climb towards... Trusting. A lot of you know you're protected, right? Move on in faith. Move on in trust. Move on knowing the abundance waits. Some of you, if it's good luck charms and amulets that you use, then there you go. Right? Objects, pieces, you know. Whatever you use to bring you good luck. Is what you use to bring you good luck. Whatever whatever it is. If you like a cross, then you use the cross. That cross is your amulet, right? Your protection. That, that good luck charm. Used to be rabbit's foot, but, you know. Those of you that have a certain way of doing things. Uh, if you're uh, going up against something new. Because, you know, that's kind of always brought you good luck. Maybe it's a lucky sweater, a lucky shirt, a lucky jersey. A lucky food, a lucky cup. You are protected, you are guided. There is no more. The opposition isn't there. You, you've you done all the studying, you've done all the work, you've done everything. You know what you need to know to go out there, do what you need to do, right? Why do we have to have this reading? Because there's... <clears throat> for those of you that don't feel protected, for those of you that don't feel like it's time to, Spirit's like, right now, there is nothing holding you back. You've done what you've... Do you've done what you've needed to do to learn what you've needed to learn. Now it's trust. And a lot of you, it's trusting your gut and trusting your intuition, Right? entrepreneurs, people that get into business, hell, financing, right? Ain't the stock market basically just a big old fucking gamble on, on shit, right? People putting their money into different companies and hope they're going to get a gains. Uh, everything's kind of like that, uh, that educated risk, right? You look at the growth patterns, you look at the potential, and then you weigh the risks, the cons and pros, and then you put that all together to decide... If you're going to invest in it, right? A lot of you have done all that. Spirit's like, okay, now it's time to put what you've learned into ask, into action. Like them risk assessment assessors, you know, uh, insurance companies use to assist risks on various things. Spirit's like, okay, you got to do what you got to do right now. Maybe for some of you, okay, let's see, Jackie still moved and she still got her ass facing me. So some of y'all are turning your back. Maybe you're turning your back to this. You're not trusting it. And y'all, she always looks at me when I'm reading. She got her head usually facing me. And now she's all sprawled out on the linoleum like a frog, right? She got her back legs fixed like a frog. 
Ah, oh, fish out of water. I gotta tell you all, there's so much peace in this. It's like, what, what? Spirit's like, okay, you know what you need to know. You're graduating. Maybe some of you just like to keep learning the lessons and you're not ready to actually put it to work in your real life. You feel more comfortable in that going through the lesson stage, right? Maybe some of you are more comfortable having to be on the defensive. You're more comfortable having to have your guard up, right? You're so used to it. Perhaps if, uh, you know... You're not quite comfortable enough letting your guard down, not um, not uh, really doing what you needed to do. You know, I was uh, watching a thing on uh, Putin. It was one of them YouTube guys that, that talked about his gait. And uh, they said Putin always keeps his like uh, right hand is always flat against his body. And then when you look back, his study and training in the KGB, right? Having that hand, uh, that hand close to where your firearm is. And you think about it. When you're so used to doing that, anyone that, yeah, well, I guess anyone in the service, anyone in military, anyone in like law enforcement, something along that lines, whatever you know you're used to doing to have for your protection. So you're always kind of in that energy. Spirit's like, no, you need to calm the fuck down. <laughs> you need to calm the fuck down. You ain't gonna, you ain't gonna be needing those skill sets anymore. That's it. Some of y'all, there's no more fighting. There's no more arguing. There's no more backstabbing. There, there's. As you traverse that mountain, you ain't got nothing to worry about. You ain't got nothing to worry about. Who the hell? Is that the mailman? Hey there, wait a minute, Mr. Postman. That's the first time I'd ever seen that. So some of y'all, you got mail. Okay, that was weird. So some of y'all gonna be getting word. Things are good. You're getting ready to get that, uh, you are getting ready to get that invitation to move forward. <clears throat> Six of coins here. And y'all look up there. Does that not... Well, I don't know. Some of you older people are going to remember that picture that probably your grandma or grandpa had. One of your grandparents had it. Maybe some of y'all had it growing up in your house, right? The little kids walking across the bridge and the guardian angel up there. This is that six of pentacles. Some of y'all are so protected by your, your past loved ones, your ancestors, ready to bring balance in. So if you had a history, a life of, of one bit of bullshit after another, spirits like, oh no. Six seven nine nine seven six could mean something. We do have five 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 of swords here at the five of wands. Expect the unexpected, but for fuck's sake, expect good. Not everything's bad. <sighs> seven of swords here with the seven of pentacles. This is going to be you protecting your growth, protecting what you've worked for, protecting what is yours. 96, 69 here, six of pentacles. And as you see, spirit is bringing in the rewards. Your ancestors are bringing in the rewards. They're like, let your guard down, girl. Girl, put your records on. Tell me your favorite song. Just go ahead, let your head down. Sapphire and faded jeans, I hope you get your dreams, just go ahead, let your head down. Nine of swords here in reverse with the hangman, you go get them dreams. Five of wands here with the five of swords. You only need that one sword, that sword of wisdom, the knowledge that you know. 
to traverse this next path on your life journey. So, <laughs> so, what do you say to this beautiful energy? A lot of you all, now it's time to get off your ass. Oh, thank you, thank God. Yeah, King of Vessels here. Now it's time to get off your ass and get to work, okay? Party time is over. You know, get rid of the stress and the anxiety. Get ready to take your seat at the head of the table. Get ready to take your seat at the head of the class. You're going to graduate. You're going to start something new. Chairman of the board. <sighs> you're going to go out there and make your mark. But some of you are still a little. You're... you're um... Some of you are afraid to put that crown on. You don't think you can handle it. You're like, I do not think I can do this. I don't know. Spirit, what the fuck? I don't know. I don't know. Are you sure? Are you sure? This is that self-doubt? You got self-doubt? Someone's got some self-doubt. Some of y'all notice that pearl on that chair? Mm-hmm. That's that idea. That's that gift from the universe that's going to put you at the top. That's going to help you achieve the position you want. Some of y'all with that chair, I'm the uh, 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 water star vibes, <laughs> right? I know what that chair reminds you of. Some of y'all make sure you stay hydrated during this. Keep Keep the water intake up. Y'all, this is absolutely beautiful. If you need a clarification that you're good, in conjunction with that 818 reading that I did, give a man a fish, feed him for a day. Teach a man to fish, feed him for life. You all have gotten that. Now, <laughs> now it's time to really put it into action. No more strife for conflict in your life. It's a new 30-year cycle for a lot of you. And that's going to be a little interesting. You know, you get used to... Uh, Maybe someday when I look back I'll be able to say... You didn't mean to be cruel. Somebody hurt you too. But that's not the line I wanted to sing. Uh, they can't hurt you no more. You got the, the knowledge, the wisdom, the ability to... Start all over and do everything new and using the lessons that you learn to not bring that shit around you anymore. Because let's face it, that's the lesson you had to learn, right? You had to learn how to remove yourself from those situations. You had to get smarter and wiser and get create better opportunities for yourself to get you in a better mindset. And you're going to be able to traverse. I love that fucking card, ladies and gentlemen. Because look... You're going to be able to traverse to the top of that mountain. Look at that moon in between there. Just trusting your gut and your intuition. What has gotten you this far? The lessons that you've learned, right? The five of swords here. From the conflict, you learn. From the ashes, you rise. But you're not trusting that you're going to be able to do it. <laughs> this is like a little pep talk. But for some of y'all, you know what? If you dick around too much, Spirit's just going to shove your ass in the deep end, okay? Spirit's going to be like, oh, well, for fuck's sake, but you just fucking do it already. <laughs> so for some of you, something very unexpected could show up. You're going to get thrown into the deep end to get your ass in action, okay? Spirit's like, okay, you've been dicking around a little too much. Uh, it's time we get this ball uh, on the... Get the ball on the get the ball on the road. What? It's time we 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 started doing what we needed to do. It's time you started doing what you needed to do. It's time. It's time. It's time. 
You are so protected, though. You have no idea. Faith and trust. Let go and let God. When all else fails, give it to the Lord. Give it to whatever deity you believe in. Trust your gut. Trust your intuition. If something don't feel right, you know to have your guard up. Right? Some of y'all have worked that little trick when you know negativity is being thrown your way. Something that kind of shows up. Something that reminds you. For some, maybe it's an unexpected rash. For some, maybe it's a... Uh, you know, you get that, um, maybe a different type of headache, or you get a different type of ailment, or a certain hand, or, or a body part will start to hurt, you know, you know all, all of us that deal with Arthur, you know, you can tell when the rain's coming in, because the knees start acting up, or you feel it in your wrist, you know, trusting that type of shit, a lot of you are, are knowing when you need to up your protection, up your prayers, because you get you get that little bit of a heads up. That's when you prayer up. That's when you ask your uh, ancestors for guidance. Some of you, maybe you have an antique brooch or something from a grandma or grandpa. Maybe some of you a ring. Something that was passed down from generations. Because y'all know. I don't know if you can see that. Y'all have that picture at your grandma's house. The guardian angel helping the two kids over the bridge. You are so fucking protected. What is that? I'm getting... What, what do I feel with this one? Maybe opals mean something to you? Because I'm kind of getting that opal energy with that... Uh, uh, black obsidian. Tiger's eye. I'm thinking like a pearl. Of course, we got diamonds here. We got gold, your precious metals. Whatever it is, you are so fucking protected. I don't know if we're going to release this reading or not, because this was kind of, this was kind of like, okay, <laughs> you're good. Spirit's going to tell you ass in the deep end, though, if you don't start fucking doing something. Uh, so here you go, Collective. He can ring my bell, ring my bell, ring a ring a ring. <laughs> I fucking love that energy, though. <laughs> oh, sweet Jesus. I tell you, Spirit will throw you in the ass in the deep end if you don't start doing something. <laughs> Peace, love, and light.